Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you determine if you are going to establish your project from the start date or from finish date. One thing what you cannot do in Microsoft Project, you cannot set start date of your project and finish date as well. So you have two possibilities. You are going to build your schedule from start and you will see the finish date after you build your schedule or you can build your schedule from finish date and after you build your schedule you will see when are you support uh, supposed to start let's say uh, that i want to go from project start date where can you set the project start date and how can you do it Go to the project tab here and go to the project information. You can see that I here can enter start date because a schedule from here is choose by project start date. And since the project start date schedule from is uh, choose, I can enter only project start date, not project finish date. So by this set, I will now create a simple uh, schedule. Let's say that I have five tasks. Task one, task two, task three, task four, and task five. And I have du the uh, uh, durations which are one, two, three, four, five. And now I am going to make a very, very simple schedule. I will connect them via task and I will choose link. Okay, so task two is supposed to start after task one is finished. Task three is supposed to start after task two is finished, etc., etc. So as you can see, my start date is fixed because it is determined here. As a Monday, seventh of February, uh, to, uh, 2022, and the finish date is calculated. Okay, and now if I choose, let's say that I am not going to start at Monday, seventh uh, uh, of February, but let's say, for example, at third thirtieth uh, of my, May, I will, I will have changed my whole uh, date. So each and uh, task one will start at the project start date and the finish date will be recalculated. Now, let me show you what will you have if you choose to build the schedule from project end date. I will erase those uh, five tasks and I will say, I want to build a project According to, let's say, uh, finish date, and the project finish date is going to be 25th of uh, uh, February 2022. First of all, I should choose I'm going scheduled from project finish date. Now, I cannot enter start date, but I can enter finish date. You will see, I will choose now 27th of February, and I'm going to create five tasks as well. Task one with one day, task two with two days duration, task three with three days duration, task four with four days duration, and task five with five days duration. Okay, now you can see that each and every of those tasks are created uh, from finish day to start date. So each of those two five tasks are uh, uh, they are having uh, they have the same finish date, which is project finish date twenty seventh of uh, of May. Okay, I am going to change this project. Uh, and I will say, okay, this is not going to be uh, uh, 
27 I will say finish date will be 25th of February and everything will be uh, uh, scheduled that each uh, each and every task should be finished at the, those uh, very same date uh, and that is the project finish date now I'm going to connect them I will going to make a schedule again and I will connect them and you will see that my project start date uh, end date will remain intact so it is 25th of February but my project start date will be calculated so the first task will start at 7th of February but let me show you something why I think that is uh, the best way to uh, make a schedule from project start date let's say I will now erase those things let's say that instead of one two three four I will have let's say five six seven eight nine days duration so each and every task will start uh, will finish at the same date as I showed you now I'm going to reconnect them and I will make a schedule what will I have now I will have now that the start date should be 10th of January now let let's go back to the project management stuff and real uh, life stuff okay so i want to have my project finish at 25th of february and task 5 is going to be finished at that very uh, 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 at that very date which is 25th of february now but according to this because i have this schedule I'm supposed to start with my task one and task two and task three and task four in the past, which is impossible. So I now can I can now see that if I want to finish my project and at 25th of February, and today is 9th of February, as you can see at my screen this is the time of recording this video, that the start date should be in the past. So those two tasks, the, uh, the only task which should be started in the future is task five. All other tasks, task four, task three, task two, and task one, is supposed to start in the past. And that is impossible. So if you want, to have a prediction, if I want to uh, uh, finish on 25th of February, when should I start? Then that, that this way is the best way. You choose here uh, schedule from project finish date and you make your schedule. But when you are done with your scheduling, I strongly suggest that you then change at the end of the uh, of the making scheduling change your project scheduling from finish date to start date so if i now change from finish date to start date start date will remain the same and now i can see what i can do so basically the best practice is to start from project star, star date but if you want to see when you sh when you are supposed to start according to your desired project finish date then my suggestion is that fo uh, that you should follow uh, uh, steps first of all choose that you are going to schedule project from project finish date and enter the finish date desired finish date build your schedule and after you are done, no matter if this schedule is realistic or not, in my case it is not because I I'm supposed to start in the past at 10th of January, which is impossible. I then at the end change the schedule from project start date. Now I change the schedule to project start date and I had my uh, start date, which uh, which was calculated 
uh, uh, I had it same, but now I can move whatever I want. So I can now say, okay, I, this is unrealistic. So let let's say that I'm going to change the start date. Okay, now in more realistic day. What if we start, let's say, next week? And next week is here. Okay, now I have more realistic situations. So I, if I start next week, which is possible because I cannot step into the past, I am supposed to get finished at Friday, uh, uh, 1st of April. And now I can change whatever I want. I can uh, remove some tasks or uh, I can... Now, uh, I can short uh, some duration. I can add uh, uh, specific resources which can make these uh, tasks shorter. Or, at the end of the story, I can say, this project is not feasible for me because the customer wants, to, uh, wants me to be finished at the end of the February and uh, to, uh, to finish that. Uh, project, I should fulfill those five tasks, and that is impossible. I will abandon the project. I will not take this project. So, you to conclude, you have two possibilities, but always, always at the end of the day, make your project schedule from start date. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a nice day.